Why, hello there, my name is Death Charge 2030, and today is Free Comic Book Day! Yeah, May 3rd. It's Saturday. Sorry about the glare back there, I can't do anything about that. It's, uh... It's, uh... And today, they... On Free Comic Book Day, they had... They released Future's End Number Zero. Special Edition. Fun fact, though, uh, I did not get this for free. They, uh, they made me pay for this, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, Futures and Number Zero. This is actually, uh, gonna be the prelude to the weekly comic, uh, Futures End, which is gonna be running for, I believe, 48 issues, or until next year, so. I'm very... It's Futures End has been on my list as something I've been wanting to check out. And this issue really just enticed me even more, like, making me... I'm so excited for Future's End now, so, yeah. Uh, talk about the issue, just check out that... Check that cover art there. Yeah, one of the main selling points for this is Batman Beyond. Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond, the DC Animated Universe. He's, he's going to be the main character in this. And we cut to the future 30 years, 35 years from now, and it's basically the world is totally messed up, you see brother eye up there watching over everything and people are just it's sad the flash he's he's got an old man now he and captain cold are like captain cold he he gets his hands cut off and everything because brother eye he's turning people into cyborgs and stuff just e it's it's dark future it's a really dark future and then Frankenstein just walks in as the survivors being guarded by Flash and Captain Cold. Frankenstein walks in. He's working for Brother Eye, and he has Black Canary's head just in his chest and just murders the Flash. It's, it's a very grim future. Then we just... The issue just goes on to just show, showcase the DC Universe in the in the future, and it's very grim. Gotham is just lit on fire. New Themyscira, the place for the Amazons, or Paradise Island, is that what it's called? I don't know. It's like Deathstroke's dead, Atlantis is ruled, and Constantine and Zatanna are just... Just like, I'm just gonna show you that. All that art, it's like, oh god. Then just cuts into a uh, last stand, if you will, for the superheroes with Green Lantern and Blue Beetle acting as distractions as Amethyst and Grifter try to remove Firestorm from the from this weird power source that he is because Brother Eye is utilizing Firestorm to just control all the assimilated heroes and that goes horribly wrong uh, Blue Beetle and Green Lantern get assimilated, and Green Lantern just goes and kills Amethyst and Grifter, so they're dead. All of Earth's final heroes are dead, except for the two Batman. Batman Beyond, and Bruce Wayne Batman. Old Man Batman. It's like Old Man Logan, except it's Old Man Batman. And he's just talking about how... And they mentioned something very interesting here, that by... Terry McGinnis, he, he mentions that Bruce here actually helped create Brother Eye, so... I know that in the original comics he did, but just foreshadowing, this is just for the New 52, it just shows that it was, he was, Batman created the Brother Eye with Mr. Terrific. So, I'm aware of that, okay, just for this. It just shows that the weight behind all of this is, it's all basically done... This grim future was created by Batman, so... Eek. That's... That's not going over, so... Batman's main... His only way of solving this problem... His final solution is just going back in time and stopping Brother Eye from being created. Except, in order to do so, they gotta turn off the force field keeping them out. And so, then all of Batman Incorporated... They just burst in, all assimilated like and just start ruining everything. Batman gets his arm cut off by, I believe, Batwing. He just gets his arm cut off, and then he's bleeding out, and so he, he sends Terry McGinnis to the past instead of himself, 
And that's where a comic ends, with basically, except the time device that was supposed to take Batman to the the right date, it was calibrated so it only works for him, I believe so, so Terry McGinnis, he actually gets set, sent five years, uh, uh, 30 years to the past, but five years in the future for us, so he's five years... Five years have gone by since Brother Eye's been created, so they just... It's basically, he's gonna have to work extra hard in order to stop this now. Overall, it's a, it's a decent read. I really enjoyed it, except it's not very plot-heavy, it's just a prelude. We're gonna go in-depth with that, with Future's End. It's, just, it's basically to get you excited. I'm excited for Future's End. I want to know what goes on. I'm a big fan of Batman Beyond. I like... I like Grifter, I like all that stuff, so hey, I am super excited for this, I can't wait for, I can't wait for Friday, I mean Wednesday, So next Wednesday. yeah, I can't wait for Wednesday, I'm really excited, I can't stress that enough how excited I am, so yeah, Future's End, heck yeah, hell yeah, whatever, so yeah, Death Charge 2030, 